Good afternoon, Tisha. Afternoon. We will wait for a few minutes. Okay, so Shepa Gali Wang, Unified Space and uh, Sports and Hobby yeah, Revision from Bugana. I am a family to be a family to be a family the the extra noun is in the Okay, teacher. Extra noun to you are on your generally Georgian solution. Uh, in the Okay, and now we specific information to put up on our solution. Okay, now see that our um love solution and love the cool and hope and the do it with the power moms the love of the mother. All of the solution is our extreme solution. Okay, now. I must listen to what Tom Yang has to listen to the determination to subscribe to power. And now, my specification by high, have you not? By yet determination, have you not? By yet ability, have you not? Must listen to ability solution to make great decision with your life. Ability, you must design and have information to put tap on the name, but tap behind solution that I must say in it with them. Do you wait? Mimma ability, she then if I have a good higher solution with your end of a moment of ability with them.
Okay, so shall we start? Yes, to share. So we will do the revision for our unit seven is on page number 40. Page number 40 on our book. So I have you remember about the vocabulary concerned with household routine? Yes, teacher. Okay. Yeah. So if you remember, we'll fill these lines, okay? So in the, the, the vocabulary concerned with the kitchen, right? So in the kitchen, come with the words. So the first one is, it has my two words and D. Dish dishwasher. 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 Okay, so. D I S H W A S H E R. Yes, correct. The dishwasher. So the first one is the dishwasher. First one is this dishwasher. So how about the second one, Matthew? It's oven. 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 So how about three? It says with tea. Teapot. Teapot, this one, right? Teapot, yes. Teapot. <clears throat> And ที่ที่ที่ที่ที่ที่ที่ที่ที่ที่ที่ที่ที่ที่ที่ที่ที่ที่ที่ที่ที่ที่ที่ที่ที่ที่ที่ที่ที่ที่ที่ที่ที่
Yes, washing machine. Washing machine. <clears throat> And 12 is this one. Pin opener. Yes, pin opener. Pin opener. You see this one? Pin opener. Pin opener. Okay, so how about um, 13, this one? Frying pan. Frying pan. Frying pan, yes. Frying pan. A frying pan and the last one, this one fire extinguisher, fire extinguisher, right? Fire extinguisher. So, how do you spell extinguisher? E x t i n g u i s h e r, s h e r, e x t i n g u i s h e r, extinguisher, fire extinguisher. So, have you got all these 14 words? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay. So let's move to number two. Number two is find the words on the fridge to match the definition because they are a compound noun. So compound noun, so it has like two words, at least two words, right? So you have to match. You iron your clothes on it. Ironing board. Ironing board. Yes, ironing board. board. Ironing board. Ironing board, and you use it to change channel on the TV. Remote, remote control. control. Remote control. Yes, yeah. yeah. remote control. <clears throat> it takes away. Uh, steam and smoke from the kitchen. Extractor so, fan. fan. Extractor fan, right? Extractor fan. It can take out the smells from the kitchen. So that is extractor fan. Uh, teacher, like, can we call that extractor fan like exhaust fan or two? Hmm? Um, that extractor fan is another way. Is it like exhaust fan? Yeah, sometimes we can use it. Okay. And four, it is a machine that helps you to prepare food. Food processor. Food? Processor. Food processor. Yeah. Food processor. How do we call it in our language? What is a food processor? A digester. Yes. I don't know, but I know that digester, that's why. <laughs> We can also uh, grind like some kind of like ginger or onion, I think. We can do that this one too. Oh, uh, then like Tisa is more better than that. <laughs> <Tisa. laughs> yeah. So cool. definitely. And five, you use it to turn the lights on and off. Light switch. Light switch. That is light switch. Yes, light switch. <clears throat> Light switch. So I guess you still remember all these vocabulary, right? Because you, you know the answers. Um to be honest, I've sent those already because I was born and I don't think you'll teach four from this why. <laughs> I've sent all of those. <laughs> okay. Okay, so We'll move to number three. Okay, number three is phrasal verb. Okay, what is phrasal verb? Tell me first. What what are phrasal verb? Um, both plus adjective. No, no, preposition. Yes, at least a verb, a combination between a verb and a preposition, right? So that is phrasal verb. Sometimes we can guess the meaning from the main verb. Sometimes we cannot guess because the whole meaning change, right? Okay, so these are phrasal verb, right? These, these are phrasal verb. Okay, so use the phrasal verb from the study skills. So it means that this book, right? In this sentence, remember to put the verb in the correct form, but you need to, you still need to change the uh, the form of the verb, right? So 
if you, you need box two, you have to transform that into box two. So you can, you can use these words and you have to read it and you have to fill the blanks. Okay, so try this first after the word check. So the title is a bad day.
Now, have you finished? Yes, teacher. Everyone, have, have you finished? No, I'm not here, please wait. Okay, I will wait. So have you finished? Yeah, teacher. Everyone? Okay, so shall we check? Okay, so the title is of that day and yesterday morning. So it's all about yesterday. So which tense do we have to use? Present. Past tense, right? Past tense. Okay. You have to use past tense. Right? Yesterday morning, I woke up early and I blank blank the light and saw it was only six, uh, five thirty. So, what is the answer for number one? Turn on. Turn on. I turn on the lights. Yes, you can you can see here, right? This one. Turn on. So we have to change this into past tense, right? So turn on. I turned on the lights and saw it, it was only 5.30, so I went back to sleep. The next day, I saw it was 8, so I blank blank very quickly. Got up. Yes, I. we have to use this one, right? So we have to change this into past tense, so I got up. Get, got, got, so got up. I got up very quickly. I blank blank my school uh, clothes and I ran to the bus stop. Put on. Yes, I'm put, put on. on. So what is the uh, pub do for or put? Put. Put. Put, right? Just put. So I put on my school clothes and I ran to the bus job. I blend blend the first bed bus that came. Got on. Got on. Got on, right? Get, got. So get on, got on. So I got on the first bus that came, but it was the wrong bed. So I blend blend at the next stop. Got on. So the answer is right. 
What is the answer for number six? Um, got off. Got off, right? Got off. Because that is the wrong bus. So it's got off at the next stop and ran all the way to school. My teacher blamed me blank for being late. Uh, told me off. Told off, right? So we have to use tell off, right? So uh, my teacher told. So we have to change that into past tense. So my teacher told me off for being late. So what is the meaning of told off? Cold. Cold, yes. The teacher scolded you, right, for being late. So I'm trying to explain, but she just told me to blend that at my desk and be quiet. Sit down. Sit down or stand up. Stand up. Yes, because you are late, right? So that is stand a punishment for you. So told me to stand up at the, my desk and be quiet. You have the punishment for being late. So after school, I decided to walk home with my friends. We sat down on the bench in the park. I played my mobile phone blank on the bench and we chatted. Put down. Yes, my I phone. put my mobile phone down. So put down. So you just put it down on the bench, right? And then you chat. When we left, I forgot to blend it blank. Pick it up. Pick it up, yes. You forgot to take it with you, right? So that is why pick it up. I forgot to pick it up. I only realized when I got home that I left in the park so that so I have to run back to find it. Luckily, it was stay there. I went home. I was feeling tired. So I thought I will blend them for half an hour before supper. Lying down. I was lying down, right? Lying down. Lying down. You don't need to change the tense because there is a model about, right? Well, so I was lying down for half an hour before supper. I blank blank my jacket. Took off. Yes, this one. We have to use this one, right? Take off. So took off. I took off my jacket and I lay on the back bed. Then mom came into my room and said, Dad and I blank 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 at the restaurant tonight. Eat dinner out. Oh. Hmm? Well, eat out. Eat out, right? Eat out. So dad and I. Well, well eat out. out at the restaurant tonight. Or you can also use uh, Dad and I are eating out at the restaurant tonight. So you can you can answer in both ways, right? You can use well or you can use um are eating out. And your supper is cooking in the oven. The dishwasher is broken, so make sure you blank blank. Wash up. Yes. Watch out, right? So you wash up and blend the dish blank. Throw the dish away. Put the dish away, right? Put away. So do we need to change the tense here? Wash up and oh. put away. No. We don't need, right? Because that is the direct speech, right? Direct speech, that's why we don't need to change the tense. Uh, and don't disturb Tanya. She is in her room revising for an exam. I thought, great mom, thanks a lot. Anyway, guess what? I fell asleep and when I woke up, my supper was burnt. So I had to blend it blend. That was a bad day. Throw it away. Throw it away. Yes, throw it, throw it away. away. Throw away, right? Throw away. You have to throw it away. That's a, that was a bad day. So how do you feel after reading his bad day? Teacher, can you tell me number nine? Number nine answer. Uh, yes. nine answer. I uh I blend my mobile phone blend. I this one we have to choose this one. Put down. I put my mobile phone down. So this one. Put down. So is there any question for number three? Have you got all the answers? Yes. The one yes. who turned off the camera, did you got the answers? Did, uh, did you get the answers?
Yes. Okay. Who who answer me? The two are right. Uh, yes, chat. The electricity one over there. Yes, uh, since uh, ten thirty. Okay. It's like the whole country. Okay, so is there any? Uh, there is no question for another three, right? So if you don't have any question for another three, we will move to May page, which is on page number forty-two in my room. Okay, again, you have to solve the crossword. To solve the crossword, across one, we will, we will solve the across one first. So five across, you can keep your book on this. It has 11 words. Bookshelves. Five across is bookshelf. Yes, correct. Bookshelf. Okay, seven across area you can stand or sit on outside and upstairs window or door. It has seven letters. Seven across. Which place is that? The area you can stand or sit on outside and upstairs window. The upstairs window. It exists in upstairs window. And you can also stand or you can also sit on it. So which place is that? Balcony? Balcony, yes. B L P O N Y, Balcony, yes. The answer is Balcony. So how about 11 across? One wall is paper, but the others are blank white. It has seven letters again, 11 across. This one. So one wall is paper and the other is blank. Painted. Yes, painted. So one wall is paper and another one is painted. P I N T E D painted. And twelve. So the answer is already given, right? The power for that is bad spread. So we can also say bad sheet. And thirteen. If you win a race, you may get a gold one. So what is that? That being cross. It has five letters. Medal. Medal, yes. Gold medal, right? How do you spell medal? M E D A L. Yes, M E D A L, medal. So we have finished the ones which are in across. So we'll move to the down ones. So the first one is number one. Um, one down. So prizes you get for winning a race or a competition. So it has eight letters. One down. Trophies. Trophies. Yes, correct. Trophies. And let's see, it's a part of your life when you are a child. It has nine letters, two down. Childhood. Yes, childhood. C H I L D H O O D, childhood.
And make number three is a group of similar objects that someone has put together. So it has 10 letters, a group of similar objects that someone has put together. So how, how do we call that? The three down. What is the answer for three down? Uh, collection. Yes, collection, correct. Collection, right? C O L C O L L E C T R O T collection. So four, and tidy. Mercy. Yes. Mercy. Right, it has only five letters. So the answer is messy. Very cool. Messy, right? And E S S Y messy. Five, you sleep on them, then your uh, they are fixed together with one on top of the other. So it has two words, which is four each. Bank bags. Yes, bank bags. Correct. Five down, right? So bank bags. And says a simple furniture in which you can up your clothes. Larger. So eight letter. So the message answer is. What job? What rope? Yes. What rope? Okay, eight. You can keep things in the paper furniture which have drawers and sometimes shelves. Cupboard. Yes, cupboard. The answer is cupboard. And nine, the opposite of fold down. Okay, what is fold down? And tidy, right? And tidy, the what tidy. Is the opposite of and tidy, yes, tidy, right? Tidy, right? Tidy. And a ten, teddy bears are soft blank. It only has four, four letters. Twice, twice, yes. Teddy bears are soft twice. Okay, so have you got all the answers? Just here. I think I uh, sorry, one. 
Teacher, may I know like um number ten answer again? Number ten answer is toys, right? Teddy bears are soft toys. It's not toys. Okay, so we'll move to the next page. This is number two. And then two again, it's complete each sentence with a suitable box in the colored form. So it's just like number three, right? So here are some box to tell you. So the answer has been given. So all you have to do is just choose the uh, appropriate word for each of the sentence and you also have to change the form of the box. So for example, like, I like bright colors, but I'm not picking on lime green. So B has been uh, used, right, for number one. So you can use that again. So answer it first after that it was done. Oh, no, no, this, uh, Susan is absent today. Do you know what happened to her? No, sure. I don't know this. I need to believe.
Have you finished? Nice. No teacher. I finished. So everyone, have you finished? Everyone. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay, so what is the answer for number two? Number two, what is the answer for number two? Hello, oh, what is the answer for number two? Okay. So I'm going to decorate my bedroom and I'm going to blend lots hang. of pictures up on the wall. Hang, hang. Hang. Lots of pictures up. Hang up. Okay. Put, so, I guess. Uh, put up, Jen. Any different answer with her? Uh, put. 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 Okay. put up. You can also use put up, yes. Put up, hang up. Okay. So how about three? If my sister blind can always she have a pink wall and a sky blue ceiling. Yes. Okay. Hats. Hats or hats? Hats. Hats. I think it's 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 right? Because that is kind of what imaginative situation, right? Because <clears throat> you have to use, uh, did you still remember there are three conditionals? You have to use the second one. So we have to use hat, right? If my sister had her own way, it's not the real situation, right? It's just imagine. So had her own way. Four, I like posters on my wall because they blend colors and interest to the room. Add? Yes, they add color and interest to the room. So five, I have to tidy my room when it's blend really messy. It gets. It gets, right? Yes, it gets really messy. Get messy, get tidy, get clean. You can use like that, so get messy. And six, I've got a very big wardrobe. It blend all my clothes. Oh, hands. Uh, it has to be like holds, right? It holds all my clothes. Oh. <clears throat> and seven, my brother has won a lot of medals for swimming, including a gold one. Win. One. One, win, one, right? So we have to use present perfect. So it has to be one, has one. And I try to blend my room party, but after my little cousin tapping in it, it's really a mess. So, I try to keep. Yes, yeah, keep. I try to keep my room tidy. Keep tidy. Right? 
and mine. That's amazing. Your clothes are all blend neatly in your wardrobe. Hang. Hang, yes. Hang. How do you spell hang? I think H U N G. H U N G. It has to be about three, yes. Because that is kind of a passive voice, so we have to use top three. They are, are hang neatly in your wardrobe. Ken, I haven't got enough room on my bookshelf, so I blend my book on the floor. Stuck. Stuck. Stuck, right? We have to use this one. Stuck. I stuck my book on the floor. And eleven. My mom threw out my college and softball book magazine, but I went to the bin and I managed to save. Yes, save them. Just took it back, right? So that is save them. Try to manage to save them. So the last one. I don't want to change my bedroom. I want to. I want it to blend as it is. Stay. Yes, stay. Right. Stay oh. as it is. Okay, so have you got all the answers for number two? Number six. Number six. Number six. Number six. It hang. H U N G hand. It hand all my. Uh, sorry, H A N G hand, right? H A N G S. It hands all my clothes. No, no, no. It holds. Sorry. It holds all my clothes. Hang a jo alga ho ma do ma nai ma do ma na six ga yes six ga holds. It holds all my clothes. Ten number seven and seven. Number seven and seven. Number seven is my brother has one. You have to use this one, please. One, this one. But we have to change the tense, right? So one, have one. So have you got all the answers for number two? Everyone? Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay, thank you for replying. So we'll move to number three. Okay, this time you have to make your own sentence, right? Think of something in each of these colors and write a sentence about it. So you have to use these words to write a sentence of your own. So there are different there are different colors, right? So for example, I have got a lime green bean at home. So lime green, you know the color, right? The lime green. And olive green, do you know the color? Do you know the color of olive, right? So that is its color, olive green. It's kind of like similar to, quite similar to military green. So it's olive green. And light blue, you know that, right? Light blue, it's not dark, it's light blue. And jack black, a jack black, right? So you know that that one. And dark blue is the opposite of light blue, right? Right, light blue, dark blue. And snow white, it is, it's like very white, right? So it's snow white. And bright red, you know the color, right? Light, bright red and chocolate brown. So it, it is brown, but it is chocolate brown. And there is also apple green. You know the color of the green apple, right? So that is its color, that is apple green. So you have to use the, all these colors in your own sentence, okay? After that, I will ask one by one, okay?
I'm oh, Susan, are you there? Okay, so have you finished? Yes, to change. Yes. Yes. Everyone? Can we win up? Yes, to share. Okay. Okay, okay. so um hmm? Okay, so Nanita, can you tell me the sentence that we use olive green? Olive green. Um, I have got uh, an olive green book. That's all. Olive green book. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so how about light blue? My pencil's color is light blue. So can you call me present? Um, come now. Come on. Okay, so can you tell me uh, your sentence that used Jack Black? Jack Black. Uh, you have got a Jack Black phone. A Jack Black color phone. Okay. How about dark blue? Uh, I have never seen the dark blue sky. I have never seen a Japanese sky, right? Okay. So can you choose next one? Uh, to do more. <laughs> uh, you have to uh, tell me the sentence that you snow white. I have got a snow white. I have got a snow white dress. Snow white dress. Okay. How about bright red? Bright red. My wardrobe color is bright red. My wardrobe. Our wardrobe color is bright. Uh, bright red. Right. Yes. Okay. So choose the last one. The last person. <laughs> so you have to tell me the last two, which are chocolate brown and apple green. Uh, I think he's not here. Oh, he's not here yet. So you have to choose next one of me to do more. No, no. No, no. So which color? The last one, the last two. Apple are... green. Oh, chocolate brown and apple, apple green. Chocolate, chocolate brown. Yes. Oh, thank you. I have to say about chocolate brown. Um, Genio once dyed his hair chocolate brown, and uh, I have apple green crop top. Apple green crop top. Okay. Like that. Uh, he, he the the ones he dyed his color chocolate brown is very rare. He has never really? dyed his hair. Yeah. Uh, is that is that durable? The color, the chocolate brown. I guess so. Like it's not very um red. It's just a bit red. Uh, okay, chocolate brown. I like the coffee brown color, not chocolate brown. Okay, so we'll move to number four. Write a list of ten things you have got in your bedroom. I've so look it. around in your bedroom and you have to write down. 10 things. Can you? Okay. So write down 10 things. So you can look around in your bedroom. Does the eye okay to me? You look very sick. Oh, am I? <laughs> you look sick. Are you okay? I'm perfectly fine. Uh huh. Yeah. Okay. But you still look sick. <laughs> I don't know why. Maybe you overslept, you know, but the, the, the face is like 
Oh, did you? I didn't sleep like two days because of I have to take the test at two a.m. <laughs> uh, so, Disha, we're not having a test. What? <laughs> we're not having. We have a test, but not now like that. Oh, not now. I still have to discuss with Sister Mary, and she says oh. she is she is quite better now, but not fully recovered. So I I still have to discuss with her. Oh, so um, you mean later? Later, yeah. Later. Not later. Maybe, maybe next year. Huh? Maybe next year. <laughs> yes, next year. But if you're, it's okay now. Like even though if you want to take a nap, I'm ready because I've done yeah. all of my. Me too, I've done the test. I'm, oh, I'm over the flu moon, I guess. Mm -hmm. And I, I heard that uh, there will be like chemistry test on Wednesday or something. Eh? Uh, not chemistry test, teacher. Like it's only a computation. One group uh, and one group. Please I just don't saw the test on Viber. I'm, I'm not sure. There is a not test, test teacher. Like, because uh, yeah, I the chemistry teacher the... took me for two days, two weeks for that. Uh, the night so please don't make us like very fluttering oh my god so it's not a test right yeah it's not a test it's not a test yeah uh, i believe it's not a test because i haven't finished copying the notes i haven't even like turned by the books yet uh, you, you make me really shocked So I think our test doesn't need to be in a rush, right? We can take time. Take your time, take your time. <laughs> take time. Uh, actually, like, I don't want to make questions. Yeah. If yeah. only we have to study the grammar points, it's pretty easy. <laughs> the points are easy, yeah. So have you finished? Write down 10 things in your room. Yes, to share. Okay, so can I ask? So I'm gonna start with um I'm gonna start with Aga. Can you tell us 10 things that exist in your room? Uh. Uh, the book and my bed, uh, the blanket, um, my guitar, my laptop, a pin, my charger, and my accessories like airport, and my watch, oh, and last one is my cushion. That's all. I did you say the blanket? Blanket. Blanket. You mean the alive one? Really, thank you. No, it's your blanket. 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 Um, sound, sound. The blanket, and I heard like it's a blanket. <laughs> okay, the blanket. <laughs> okay, so Aga, can you choose name one? Tiny little. Tiny little. <laughs> okay, tell um, us so the thing. My bed, pillows, mosquito net, wardrobe and air conditioner, mirror, and my laptop, and uh, study desk and books. Uh-huh. Yep. 
Okay. That's it. Nothing. Okay. So can you choose next one? Um, changing time. Changing time. Um, I have got a computer, phone, wardrobe, a dead lamp, best bread, and book shares, twice, chairs, study decks, and more. Okay. And Susan, the toy. Uh, so, my room, there's a bed, lamp, laptop, mirror, sewing machine, table, pickup products, microwave, accessories, and books. Microwave in your room? He wants to, like, it's weird. <laughs> for for yeah. making supper, right? <laughs> I usually make something at night, so, like, I don't want to disrupt my family members, so I put microwave. Sometimes there may be air fryer or maybe a something. It's quite be. strange, right? Quite strange to hear that there is a microwave and air fryer in your room. <laughs> Essential for me, to be honest. Okay, so choose next one. Hey, that's it. Hey, that's it. My bed, blanket, laptop, lots of books, a closet. Phone, table, air conditioner, and my keyboard. That's it? Keyboard. Okay. That's all. That's all. Okay. So can you choose make one? Uh, who's left? There's so many, right? Only four have finished. So you can choose. Nine and two. Nine, nine and two have finished. <laughs> I think he's. I think he's sleeping during this class. So. Oh. And it's just the sun and change time has been. I also don't. Ah no no. I just call your name and you choose me. Are you insane? <laughs> I don't remember anything. <laughs> okay, no no. Um. So I have with where is the people here? Bed, cupboard, mirror, wardrobe, aircon, and trophies, bean beds, night gum, travel photos, and table. Okay. Uh, like, sure, I'm going to tell that I, oh, whenever we speak, you're listening, and you're going to enter the computer. <laughs> uh, so I'll choose Jasmine. Jasmine. Okay, um, I have perfume, lotion, laptop, and makeup, and skincare, skincare products, and guitar, bed, pillow, TV, and wardrobe. Okay, TV and wardrobe. So choose make one. Uh, Jason, can you speak? Uh, yes, okay. a little bit. Pillow, desk, chair, lamp, sheet, drawers. For me, does black bag, a lamp card, and a card, and blanket. Okay. And, and the blanket, right? Not the black cat. <laughs> okay, so choose next one. Should we move? Okay. Box, bed, pillows, bookcase, wardrobe, TV, laptop, photos, trophies, toys. Boy, okay. So choose next person. Me too. Me too. Uh, I have chair, bed, lamp, bed, or job, door, dairy, pillow, and cloth. Okay, so can, you can choose next one. Come on. Come on. Uh, some pictures, piano, poster, bag, flower pot, crystal, book, twine, some pens, and speaker. Okay. So you can choose the next one. The Dawson. The Dawson. Bag, bags, computer, lounge, bags, mirror, some skincare stuff, guitar, sofa, 
and TV and some food. Okay. Okay, so you can choose the next one. Thank you. I think only the left on left, right? Huh? Yes, so you the left. My four laptops, my phone, pillow, bed, clothes, and trying to wear chair. My favorite cable, I don't picture. Okay. So I think everyone has finished, right? Nadia has left, right? Yes, teacher. I think everyone has finished. So shall we move to the next page? We still have time, right? Like 10 minutes. So like nine minutes. <laughs> the jobs at home. So number one, right answers to this question. So you have to write your own answers again. For example, like how often do you tidy your room? So you have your own answer for that. And the second one is how would you describe your room? It's like tidy or messy or how can you describe your room? So you can describe, you can give a description of your room. And three is do you always make your own bed count or fan? So you have to give your own answer again. And four, do you ever put the rubbish out count or fan? Who set the table? Who clears the table? Do you ever help? And six is who does the washing out? And do you ever help? And seven, do you ever clean the bathroom and count or fan? And eight is could you prepare dinner? What would you make? And nine is, do you know how to iron a shirt? And which part of the shirt do you start with? And what do you do next? And 10 is, what will you do if a button had come off your school shirt? So you have to give your own answer for these 10 questions. Okay? Uh, sure, like our own ones, right? Not from the listening. Not from the listening. You have to, you have to give your own answer. You have to give, uh, tell me your daily routines. That's all. Um, by the way, did you still remember the listening script, Nuno? I can look back in the course book, teacher. I have answers. <laughs> okay. No need there.
Uh, I think we don't have uh, much time to finish up to 10. So what do you want up to five first? So when you finish up to five, tell me, okay? I have done check. Up to five, right? Okay. I've also done six. Huh? Uh, me too. Finished it. Okay. I'm also teaching. Okay. Okay, so Tutumo, can you give the answer for number one? How often do you tidy your room? I tidy my room once a week. Once a week, okay. How about Nintai? How will you describe your room? Try to I mean, number two, you have to answer number two. How would you describe your room? Is a uh, is quite tidy. It's quite tidy. Not very tidy. Just quite tidy, right? Okay. <laughs> very tidy, teacher. Okay. So now, Nathan, you have to give the answer for number three. Do you always make your own bed? How often? I do always, yeah. Every so day. Every day, like at least well once a day, like that, right? Yes. Okay, that is good. And uh, Sun Tzu-san, you have to give the answer for number four. Do you ever put the rubbish out town or van? <laughs> I don't even have a rubbish room. Um, I mean, if I have to do my housework, I think maybe twice a week. Twice a week. Okay, it's not bad. Twice a week. Not bad, right? Yeah. Not bad. <laughs> no, not so good, but not too bad. <laughs> Okay, so no, no, what, uh, how about number five? Who set the table? Who clears the table? Do you ever help? Nobody sets the table, but if the clear, uh, table is a bit messy, the one who sees did it. Okay, so? Nobody uh, sets thought, the table. For example, like, uh, whatever you are having the dinner, so who set the table? And after finishing dinner, who clears the table? Do you help? Oh, uh, you mean like set me to... Um, prepare dinner the, or pre prepare lunch so that uh, you set the table. How can I say like um, house helpers? Should I describe like only, that? Only the helpers. Yeah. So you never help. No, right? no, none of our family members help. So and you also didn't do that like that, right? Uh, sometimes I do. Sometimes. Okay. Sometimes. Only sometimes. Uh, I think <laughs> once, once a month. Once a month. <laughs> That's okay. so no, really not. Illuminating myself, but you know, if I don't do this, my mom, ma, my mother will use Kung Fu Karate Taekwondo's to me. So I have to do that. Mm -hmm. You guys are like quite young to do household chores. Okay. So I got this time. Uh, how often do you tidy your room? When I, I want to tidy my room. <laughs> You have to think too hard. Like how often do you tidy your uh, room? Sure. And you Can think I... too hard. Oh, yeah. sure. I don't. I don't tidy sure. at all. Like sometimes, maybe. Sometimes, okay. Oh, uh, may I leave now? Like I have something to do. That's why. Huh? May I leave now? Okay, I have okay. something. So it's like one thirty. Okay, you can leave.
<clears throat> okay, so Jason, you have to give the answer for number two. How would you describe your room? It's kind of messy, but I think it's tidy. <laughs> It's messy. I blank. So just yes. you blank. It is not messy. Okay. It may be messy in your mom's eye or someone, right? Yeah. Like. Okay. Okay. So as the time is up, so okay. So please answer this up to ten. Okay. And tomorrow we will discuss the answers. Okay. So it's yes. kind of like homework for you. So you have to write the answer for six to ten. Okay. Okay. And can someone tell Nuno that uh, she have homework six up to ten? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, thank you. Okay, so bye bye for today. See you tomorrow. Hi, teacher. Bye, teacher. Bye, teacher. Bye. 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 bye.